let us study the IV characteristics of Zener diode. Aim of the experiment is to determine knee voltage, Zener breakdown voltage, forward resistance of the Zener diode. Let me brief about the theory of Zener diode. Zener diode is invented by American scientist Clarence Melvin Zen Zener in the year 1950. It works in reverse bias whereas ordinary diode do not. It is heavily doped where the doping level is greater than 1 is to 10 power 7 atoms. The doping level is responsible for specific reverse breakdown voltage. At this particular voltage, the junction breaks down. That means the covalent bond ruptures, releasing large amount of electron hole pairs. Hence, there will be a sharp increase in the flow of current for relatively small change in reverse bias voltage. Hence, the voltage remains relatively constant. This property of Zener diode is effectively used in voltage regulators. Initially, for small reverse bias voltages, there will be a flow of small current due to minority charge carriers called reverse saturation current. This reverse saturation current is due to the fact that the reverse bias across the junction appears to be forward biased for these minority carriers. Terminals of Zener diode. The terminal towards the dark line drawn on the Zener diode is identified as cathode and the other terminal is identified as anode. This diode is invented by a Zener American scientist named after him. Now, let us start the circuit connections. Let me start with the forward biasing mode. The given Zener diode along with the resistor is connected in series with milliameter and power supply and the voltmeter is connected across it as shown in the circuit diagram. So, let us do it. The positive terminal of the power supply is connected to positive terminal of the milliameter. The negative terminal of the milliameter is connected to one end of the resistor which I am going to mount it on the breadboard. Next end of the resistor is connected to the positive terminal of the diode. negative terminal of the diode is connected back to the negative of power supply. Now connect the voltmeter across the diode. Positive of the voltmeter, positive terminal of the voltmeter to the positive of the Zener diode, negative terminal of the voltmeter to the negative of Zener diode. Now, the Zener diode is connected in forward bias mode. Switch on the power supply. Now, the Zener diode is connected in forward bias mode. Vary the voltage in small steps, say 0.1. You note that the current through the circuit is 0, 0 0.2, 0, 0 0.3, 0, 0 0.4, 0, 0 0.5, 0, 0 0.6, it is 0.1 milliamps. So, that means the junction started conducting from this point. That means it is the barrier voltage existing across the junction. Now increase the voltage in steps of 0 0.5 volts, 0 0.65, 0 0.70, 0 0.80, 0 0.85, 0 0.90, 0 0.95, 0 0.96, 0 0.97, 0 0.98, 0 0.99, 0 0.100, 0 0.101, 0
point three, point seven, point eight, point seven five. Three point eight, point eight, nine point five, point eight five, it is twenty eight point two. So the characteristic exactly as same as that of ordinary diode. as shown in the graph let us change the mode reverse the terminals of the zener diode repeat the process of increasing the voltage but now the voltage is increased in steps of 1 you observe that for lower voltages 1 volt 2 volt the current through the junction remains almost same 0.2 milliamps 0.3 milliamps and so on up to 12 volts at 12 volts you observe that the current through the junction is 0.9 milliamps increasing in steps of 0.1 for 0 0 point for 1 volt for 2 volt it is 0.2 for 4 volts it is 0.4 for 6 volt it is 0.6 for 10 volts it is 0.8 for 12 volts it is 0.9 now you observe carefully i'm changing the voltage in steps of 05 12.05 to 0.6 the current noted down as 2.6 milliamps 12.1 the change in current is 4.4 milliamps 15 is 6 milliamps For twelve point six sixteen. So observe the table carefully. Up to twelve volts, you observe that the change in current is relatively very small. It is because of minor recharge carriers called reverse saturation current. So at twelve volts, the Zener breakdown is occurring. and you find the sharp increase in the value of current through the circuit which is increasing from 2.6 to 14 uh, or 15 milliamps whereas the voltage variation is very small 12 to 12.5 volts so this is depicted in the graph wherein you can see that a sharp increase in the value of current and this particular voltage is referred as zener breakdown voltage so from the graph we obtain the results the forward characteristics curve will give you the knee voltage at which the current starts flowing through the conduction in the junction starts so that is obtained by extrapolating the linear region of the curve till it meets the x axis the corresponding 
value along the x axis is noted as new voltage and it comes around 0.7 volts. And the slope is taken in the linear region of the curve will give you the forward resistance of the Zener diode which is observed to be very small as same as that of ordinary diode ranging from 2 to 3 ohms. And a tangent drawn to the curve in the reverse bias characteristics extrapolated till it meets the x axis the corresponding value on the x axis will give you Zener breakdown voltage. As the given diode is having a breakdown voltage of 12 volts we get the same value during the experiment. So, results of the experiment are new voltage which signifies the barrier voltage across the junction and the breakdown voltage comes around 12 volts because for this particular diode the doping concentration is so that it is giving a breakdown at 12 volts and forward resistance comes around 2 to 4 ohms. So, that is how we understand from the characteristic of Zener diode that it is useful in the reverse bias mode and, and it is this property of the Zener diode which is useful in the voltage regulation process. Probable viva questions related to this experiment is as listed 